every wheel, a real model, even within the same maker, is not going to be the same soft mode. So the ideal soft mode, it's, everyone thinks it's about the pedal dip, and somehow you're you're pushing it in that area. It's not really about that. It's that so hard mode. Okay, let me explain hard mode first. Yeah. Hard mode, it just stays here, right? So you push, you lean full forward, it's gonna resist you, and then the maximum force, it's gonna resist as, as much as possible. Um, same thing with braking. But in soft mode, there's some, there's some give in that middle. Before you get to the edge, and either edge, before you get to the edge, and then it'll kind of resist a little bit more. The point is not that it goes like this. The point is it goes like this. Why? Because, so in soft mode, I'm trying to get it to either dip like this or dip like this. Because that front is what I'm pressing on. So if I dip like this, to get it to dip like this, on that back pedal, I'm pushing my heel down kind of letting it drop so I have it dropped and then I lean over to this front sticking up pedal to push on it because otherwise so if I'm flat on the ground and, and if you have the pedals flat and you say put pressure on them they'll never move you don't have any leverage on this. You, you don't have any, you're, you're just gonna press on the pe pedal fronts and you have nothing to get more pressure onto those fronts. Uh, you could put pads and everything, but that, honestly, that is muscle. You're never gonna be muscle versus your pure body weight focused onto the pedals. So there's that. So when you angle them up, then you can kind of, when you press down, it's angled up so that it, has that lean, the front lean force. So simply just stepping down on it will press it down and press the accelerator. So hard mode, you, you put it this way and that, relatively speaking, they're just gonna always stay like this. So I can't get it as dramatically up for me to press that front pedal. So think of a car accelerator pedal, right? The car accelerator pedal isn't flat, like the pedal flat on the ground. It's angled up so that you have that leverage to push it down. If it was down here, it would be miserable to drive. So that's the point, yeah. Clap the room, I'm coming through. They wanna see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills, do it for the thrill. I'm on a paper route. Extra, extra, read about it. I'm today's trying to tap it. I put commas over bullshit. Yeah, I put that on mamas. They trying to block all my blessings. They thought I lost the snapping. I bet on me and my team. I ISO is what I'm rapping. Put on for the whole city. Yeah, I got them rocking with me. I bet on me and my team. I ISO is what I'm rapping. So, soft mode. Ideally is in the middle there's freedom to move because you want the freedom to push that back pedal down so that the front pedal sticks up to press on it. So in that middle point you so yeah you stick it up and then you press down and then as you press down at a certain point the resistance the resistance increases and then um, different makers will have different uh, kind of feel so veteran it'll resist not not as in a hard mode but it'll resist kind of like a like a nice rubbery feel and then it'll catch at a certain angle um, and it won't go down further and there's kind of like a rubber so like there's like a medium hard dur durometer rubber to it whereas uh, Gotway the really swingy soft modes, it'll let you go, just go straight down like that, oh. no resistance. Uh, At so, which wheel? Like sometimes? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of the monster. Uh, it, not every Gotway. Uh, when I'm saying the most free soft modes that I felt from Gotway, it'll let you literally go like this. So you, you have to play with it a little different for each wheel. Um, the brake is 
also different sometimes. Gotway soft mode brake is a hard brake. It just it won't move. You don't it'll try to like you know, just like a hard mode. Whereas the the veteran, the Sherman, is um, swing, but it'll catch you a little bit sooner than the front. So the idea is that you want to okay, flat pedals. You would have to, you know, go face to the ground to really get the maximum uh, force on it, right? Uh, there's no stability there. There's no leverage. It's just all you're trying to get all on the front of the foot. Also, our body weight is over the heel, so it's gradually transferring. But if you can't go full Michael Jackson, you're not going to get as much force as you think you're going to get. Um, one concept is if you heel up, then automatically you bring your body weight force up closer to the pedals. So that when you when you press on the pedal fronts, it's more the body weight line moves the front. So that's one part. The other part is leverage. So if I um, if I push on something, right? I'm gonna stabilize with this uh, back foot to push off so that I can push. I'm pushing with my body, my arms, but I'm also pushing off of against the ground so that it's it's the counter force, it's the leverage. leverage. So the idea of this whole thing is that you get the wheel down at an angle. So in order to do that, it all starts with the feet, right? So, before you do this, it starts going down. As you, each heel pushes the wheel down. So that, it all starts from the feet. So, to the point where you start um, working your way up the leg. So, I'm, start out from this and then I start leaning side to side uh, it's hard to do it on the flat ground because the more you drop the hip peel down push the wheel down this side pops up so naturally your heel pops up as well so the more you do this, it works up the body even more. You want to emphasize each, it's kind of a lot of this kind of motion, right? So I'm kissing my hip, uh, each hip, each time alternating as if I'm touching the front. So like that, yeah, the feet alternating. Because if you think about it, pedals, stepping on it, the idea is I want to break the pedals. So how do you break the pedals? Well, you're probably going to try to do one of these, or this is even better because it's longer. And then if I pin this down and force this down, then it's going to be impart even more force. So that, that's the whole idea. And an emojis, I'm blowing a pack of that OG. Don't be acting like you know me. And if you did, that's the old me. When the time rock a cold fleece, pocket fat, that's obese. Only talking money if it's increased. She give me brain, girl, no teeth. I touch down, bust down. She busted open for a real nigga. Stay tommied up, trying to build it up, trying to count it up. Hell figures. Don't be chilling with no little niggas. And if I do, I be real with them. Chase a dream, that's a mail ticket. ISO gang, yeah, they still with us. I put it in motion, nigga. I'm Steady. Thoughts on my mind, it's wearing heavy. Watch I shine, tell them I'm ready. I'm hitting my stride, let's get to the Fetty. I was just sitting back watching them go. Racks on me now, yeah, it's looking slow. I hold it down and I got my own. Keeping it grown, we back to the bone. Uh, yeah, flying flashy, ayy, hey, hey. ayy. We too fancy, ayy, hey, hey. ayy. Can't walk past me, ayy, hey, hey. Right up your alley, wait, wait. If these are my feet, I'm gonna press down, and this is gonna come up, and I'm gonna lean over and then push this down and then alternate so this is the heel down the foot down and then I'm gonna lean over to this front foot 
and then switch. So it's, it's this pressure with this back leverage that generates the most amount of uh, pressure on the pedals for more acceleration. People are scared of doing this because they're usually very narrow. Um, their ankles are like, this is like how most people ride, I feel like. Like very narrow, like up against, the, especially the ankles. Because it's that security of grabbing the wheel, right? But it's not, it's not very stable. Because, you know, any sport, they're going to ask, they're going to tell you feet apart, um, like shoulder or length, so, shoulder width apart. Because uh, that's stability. The wheel is not any different. So the way you get that is, so each landing of the heel, you land it a little bit wider. So if you see, this would be nor this would be the normal riding where the toe points out, the ankles in, like typical riders do. Maybe adjust it to uh, parallel. But even better is to push that pedal down is to put the heel a little bit more back, a little bit uh, more out, out, sorry. So that you have even more leverage, but also these counterbalances become bigger and more stable like this way. I always say heel, um, ankles, yeah, ankles and heels out, but it doesn't have to be both at the same time. Because honestly, you're only ever doing heel, toe, heel, heel, toe, Every single time you're alternating, you're never both feet flat and on, on the wheel. It's always alternating. So every time you land the heel down, you get more uh, more leverage and more stability if you land it a little bit outside of that parallel plane. So do you need soft mode for this? No. But it's going to be harder if you have that really stiff hard mode. Um, most wheels will have some kind of at least like a medium hard at worst. There are some wheels that are super stiff so yeah it's not gonna it's, it's gonna be harder because um, you're not gonna get enough angle enough English on on the wheel because it's gonna just so why do you think that the soft mode on recent wheels is stiffer compared to because the manufacturers don't you got to think about the manufacturers probably they know how to ride i don't know how well and they're also trying to satisfy their customers so if all their customers are complaining that oh you know i love this this sophomore right i'm not going to complain about this sophomore but all the the new riders um the ones who ride hard mode or longest they're all going to complain so yeah that's why i see what you mean but what's the point to add a soft mode that is stiff since you already have medium and hard. Okay, so from a manufacturer perspective, I'm not I'm not an engineer, but going through all these wheels, a lot from seeing a lot of the tweaks, um, especially if they change it dramatically, usually they can only do one side or the other. They can't do the best hard mode and the best soft. Mode. It's always one is always going to get sacrificed for the other. My so are you saying that on your on your Sherman with the Earlier firmware, your the hard mode is really soft. It's probably too soft for the hard mode guys. Yeah. So we got sacrificed. Why do new riders or riders in general like to ride with pads? You love to imitate stuff you see on YouTube. That's one of it. Um, it's also easier. Like my way, I don't think it's gonna catch on because it's not one, it's not a month, it's not a few months, it's like years. So I don't think a lot of people are gonna try to ride like I do. And then for me, I can't ride with pads because it's just adding stuff more in the way. My whole way of riding is to clear my legs away from, it's so that the wheel can, can tilt and I'm just staying in the same relative place. Most riders, most riders, they want to turn and tilt. They're tilting with the wheel. Whereas my way, it's tilting here, but I'm staying relatively, like, this is relative 
perfectly upright and sane. So it, it's really going like this, and I'm just staying here, whereas most riders, they're going with it. Okay, so the hands, so I, again, I said it starts out with this, and then you, you'll start leaning more, right? And naturally, I'm not even trying to move my hands. They kind of go with it because when I want to drop that hip, if I really want to drop it super down, I got to do one of these. Because the arm is attached to the hip. To really drop it down, I naturally have to move that arm back, strike it back. Think about a runner. They're, they're running like like this. It all is the feet, right? And then you work your way to the body with the leans. Like diagonal leans. And then when you really want to do a dramatic drop the hip to angle the wheel down, your arm is automatically going to go back. Just like when you run, when you push off, your arm is going to drop back. People think I'm doing it for show. I mean, I, I like the look of it, but I'm not really doing it for show. I'm trying to get that hip, that hip down. And like I said, running. You're going to run like this. Every hip that drives back is going to be arm back. Same thing. Okay, so my way hit a bump you don't see there's always going to be one foot up so when you hit the bump then that foot's going to want to land but it's not on the problem is when you hit a bump and your foot's flat then you get launched right but here mine's always at an angle i hit the bump i'm going to naturally want to land that foot and there's going to be a delay where the wheel takes a bump before i land on Ideally, if I can see the bump, I'm going to be knees, knees bent, both, uh, both heels up. So both heels, knees bent, both heels up, and knees a little bit forward. I'm trying to guide the wheel to take the bump sooner, because as soon as it takes the bump, we both go in the air, and then by the time the wheel lands, it'll land first, and then I land. Hello guys, that will be all for this video today. I would like to thank Chris Yim for taking the time to explain me his riding technique and also all about soft mode in various wheels. Chris Yim is my favorite rider and I always liked his way of riding EUCs. So by making this video, I hope that it will inspire many other people to ride more in soft mode and also maybe copy his way of riding or even develop some variations. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you next time.